What's up everybody? It's Wendy out here today on April 3rd, 2017. But stay tuned. We got the 2017 Mazda CX-5 just arrived off the 18-wheeler truck. I got five of them to show you real quickly. New body style. Stay tuned. I'm telling you, they still got the wrappers and the stickers all on them. But let's unbox one today. The 2017 Mazda CX-5 has arrived. Now we have a ton of 2016s out on the lot right now, but the 2017 is just a little more special because it's a new body style for this vehicle. So if you like the styling of the CX-9, you're gonna love the CX-5. So stay tuned, literally they just came in within the last hour, still got the plastics on them, but I wanna show them to you and get you out there and let you see what we got right here at Stokes Mazda today. Let's get started. All right, so here's one right here. It's a 2017 uh, CX-5 Grand Touring. And you're gonna see really a major difference right off the get-go here. Look at the front end on this vehicle. Like I said a minute ago, you know, it's really got that CX-9 look to it. It's almost like they transported the CX-9 body right into the CX-5. And uh, what a gorgeous vehicle. I mean, look at the headlights. I'm just loving the styling. You know, Mazda, look how massive the logo is. I mean, look how big that is. I'm gonna show you with my hand here just how big. Okay, so that's my hand. That logo is massive. It looks really cool there. I mean, this is a Grand Touring model, so there's gotta be something behind there. You know, there's something going on with that. But anyways, beautiful car. Let's take a look at the rear, because there's also some changes in the back. If you hear a little wind noise, please excuse it. It is very windy today. April showers, right? Yeah, that's right, it's April. But as you can tell, I mean, the rear end definitely, taillights looking good, looking really good. I'm liking that a lot. You'll notice also down here, this is a little bit different. That looks different. I'm gonna show you a, a older body style CX-5 in just a minute so you can see what I'm talking about, just for a comparison. There's a blue one. That's a touring. You got a grand touring. Here's another touring. We got a couple tourings and basically one grand touring that I know of. The black looks sleek on here. Look at that. I mean, this is nice, folks. Uh, again, if you live in the Carolinas, you gotta come down to Stokes Mazda and check it out. Wow, we. See, yeah, you can tell. See right here, I can put my finger in that area there. Obviously, the Grand Touring model's got some kind of sensor system or a camera or something behind that logo. And uh, comment in the make a comment. Let me know uh, what you think of what's going on behind here. And I'll do a little research on it myself after I get done filming today. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, inside. Again, Grand Touring is what we're looking at right now because this is pretty much fully loaded. Now this one is front wheel drive. So what you're going to see right now. Your stitching is looking really good on your door panel. The fit and finish has definitely gone up a whole big notch here. So the stitching looks good, Bose stereo system. Um, one thing you're getting now on the 2017, on the Grand Touring, you're getting memory seats right here on pass or driver's side. All power functions, power lumbar. I mean, look at that leather seat. That's real leather. This is not no pleather or anything. This is the real deal, folks. And again, this one's still got the wrapper on it. Heads up displays looking nice. Let's sit inside real quickly here and uh, and take a look around. All right. Now I don't have the keys, so I can't really get everything lit up in here. But one thing, I, this is definitely a different tweeter. Look at that. I mean, nice big tweeter sitting there. You got the Bose logo on there. It looks nice. The heads up display looking good right there. Uh, you'll notice the uh, screen system here. I mean, look at that. Wide screen, it's, it's cut down a little shorter, so it's not as tall as they were in the past. That's nice. Uh, you know, the dash, again, fit and finish is looking really good. I mean, look at that. A little bit different kind of wood trim in here. And then you got your piano black right through here that looks really good. 
Looks like you got a heated steering wheel now. Heated seat on driver passenger side. All this is looking really good. You got your uh, cruise adaptive cruise control in the car now. A lot of nice buttons in here. No paddle shifters. I don't see paddle shifters. Yep, there's no paddle shifters now, so that's a little different. You also notice over here, you got your speedometer, your tachometer. This is all, all digital now, so that's nice. But yeah, the interior is looking really nice in the 2017 CX-5. Up top, you still got your sunglass holder right here. We don't have any power right now. Um, sunroof has not really changed a whole lot. Still just your traditional sunroof right there. Doesn't stretch all the way back to the uh, second row seats. I'm not sure why Mazda hasn't done that yet. But, you know, not everybody wants a sunroof that goes all the way to the back back there. All right, now I'm, uh, I'm at the black touring model. Let's have a look at this one. Again, just came in. This is cool. Still got the plastics on there. Uh, one thing I noticed right off the rip when I got here to the car just now, you noticed on your Grand Touring, your leather was a little bit different, right? This one, which I'm liking a little bit more, it seems the seat seems softer, and you got suede inserts right here. I mean, you can you can definitely tell that's suede, and it, it goes all the way up, right up under there. So you don't have your perforated seats with the holes in them to let them breathe and stay cooler, but you do got a nice suede insert there. And again, look how soft that leather is. I mean, I wish y'all could feel it through the, through the screen. Look how soft that is. That's going to be comfortable to sit in. And uh, uh, this particular model does not have your heads up display up here. Still got your Bose stereo system. Still got that nice ultra wide screen system there. Got a big speaker right there for your center sound. Uh, again, no paddle shifters on the Touring model. Does got Bluetooth, all your controls here. I don't see the adaptive cruise control button right there. And then you'll notice on the Touring right over here, um, a little, the other one, pretty much that full area right there was a one big screen. And you can see on this one, it's kind of cut short on the right and left. So that's a little bit different. But overall, still, fit and finish is looking really good. Don't have a heated steering wheel, but you do got heated seats on driver passenger side. And a little bit different on the, uh, the other one had some kind of wood trim there. This has got just kind of like a satin gray color, which still looks really good. One thing I like about Mazas is, is they don't really put too many different colors going on on the insides of the car, okay? So everything just rolls nice and smooth. All the colors and everything just match up really nicely as you can see on this particular one right here. All right, so you may be wondering, you know, what is the uh, Moroni label saying on it, right? Because it's, when I do videos, a lot of times they put them on these back windows, which are tinted, so you can't really see them too well on the video, but I will read off what I got here. Um, so again, this one I'm looking at, the black one is a just a touring front wheel drive CX-5 2017. And uh, this one, uh, MSRP is around 27690 okay? So that's what MSRP is on this particular window sticker here, 27690 And then also, uh, if you're wondering, it still has the 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine with 187 horsepower and 185 foot-pounds of torque. So still pretty comparable to the previous year's model. I think the most... The major changes you'll see on the 2017 is really the front end, the rear end, and some upgrades on the interior in particular models. Um, let's walk over to the Grand Touring and see what the Moroni label has on this one for as a price. Because again, this car is pretty much fully loaded. And uh, so anyways, let's have a look here. Sonic Silver, same engine, all that, front wheel drive. And uh, your Grand Touring is 32,220. 32,220. Um, with the 2.5 liter, with 187 horsepower, you're getting 31 mile per gallon on the highway, 24 in the city for an average combined of 27. And uh, on the government five star ratings, uh, on, on, the, on the Moroni label right now, it doesn't have a rating, so it says not rated yet. Okay, no big deal. Uh, you know, the car just came out. You know, they still have, the manufacturer still has to give time to give the cars to the, uh, 
IIHS, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, and let them do all their New Year, you know, safety checks on them and all that kind of stuff. So later on in 2017, we'll you know we'll get a batch of them that'll have the safety ratings on there. All right, before we go, just uh, this is the actual alloy wheel on the Touring model. And uh, it is a, uh, let's see what size, it's 17, I know that. The, uh, the tire size is a 225-65, rim is a 17-inch rim. So that's what you have on the Touring. Let's move quickly over to the Grand Touring here. This is the alloy wheel you'll get on the Grand Touring model, right there, which looks nice. And basically, you're going up to an 18-inch rim. Actually, no, I'm wrong, 19, wow. So you're getting a 225-55R 19-inch rim on this car. So the 19s definitely look good. A little bit bigger rim always looks nice on a car. That's just my opinion, but not bad at all. Um, some of the sales guys didn't seem to like the wheels all that much on the CX-5 for 2017. I don't know. I kind of like them. I don't think they look too bad. I like the gunmetal color. And uh, anyways, just a little different. You know, Mazda's got to switch out the wheels every year and, uh, and differentiate these vehicles from previous year models. And uh, just quickly here, here's a, uh, an older body style CX-5 and you can see a major difference between the vehicles. I mean, from the tail lights, the, uh, the, the, the lights down the bumper are different. Now they kind of come down a lot more, but still very good looking car. This is actually a pre-owned one we just had come in and it's back here today getting cleaned up and all that. But uh, again, still a really good looking car. Not bad at all. Again, I like the CX-5. It's a great looking car, but if you can see that over there, those are your 17s. They look like miniature CX-9s. So anyways, there's the older body style. What year is that one? That's a 2014 right there. So that body style right there stayed around pretty much from 2014 to 2016, and then the 17s rolled in. Thanks for watching the video. If you live here in the Charleston area, come on down to Stokes Mazda. See them today. They would really love to sell you a brand new Mazda and get you on the road. And again, I can't tell you enough, Mazda is such a great brand. The fit and finish is so nice on these cars. I mean, this exceeds a lot of the other brands out there on the road today. And the, uh, yeah, I mean, how to say that? I mean, I, I don't know. You got Mazda, you got Mazda, right? Good looking car. Anyways, come on down and see him today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.